Do you, uh, do you assign a, a lot of homework? Do you have apprentices draw flash on a regular basis? Do you have them draw mm -hmm. stuff that they would naturally draw or things that are kind of out of their element? Um, mm -hmm. Things maybe that are more, you know, uh, tattooable than what they're not, than what their tendencies might be or, or do you yeah. have any, anything strict in that way? First and foremost, the first six months of an apprenticeship uh, with me is uh, customer service based, but I don't teach the technical side of tattooing at all. Um, and that is for multiple reasons. Um, it's not just like, hey, the shop needs help up front, help this client and also grab a broom and sweep when you're done. Uh, that stuff's important too. But it really does help um, teach the customer service aspect of our jobs. And so when somebody's walking in, and not just how to be polite, but you're not going to be doing that tattoo, right? But you want to talk to this person, um, listen to them, uh, figure out what they want to do, help guide them to, okay, uh, this, this would be a great artist for you. And... All of that stuff comes back around when it's your time to be consulting with people and talking with them. Uh, even emails, when they're doing emails or checking clients into the system and being thorough about all of that stuff, uh, scheduling, scheduling for other artists is helping you learn how to structure your own time and your own days. And when an artist has multiple appointments in a day, uh, learning how to schedule that so there's enough time in between appointments in case it runs over, time for them to break down their station, set back up, maybe grab a bite to eat, all of those things. Um, it's a big, big part of learning your own day to day. And I think in that moment, they probably don't get it. They're like, oh, I'm just like shop help. But I really do think it comes back around and it's like, oh, yeah, like that's such an important part of what we do. Um, and that time, I think, is, is crucial. So that's the first six months. Uh, but in that, I'm giving drawing assignments and homework. A lot of times at first, it's, it's line work. Um, but I'll go through different styles because depending on the, the apprentice, um, their knowledge of tattoos may be like, oh, I, you know, I like to draw and I watch Ink Master. You know? and it's like, okay, well, I also need to educate you about tattoo art as well as art in general composition design and so i like to have them um you know spend a week or two weeks it's like okay this is just uh japanese you're going to draw cherry blossoms and waves and i got great reference books for you to look at i'll give them some names of artists to look at and i think there's also that f don't just like draw cool waves but like really try to break down like the, the different ways that finger waves can be done and really understanding it, not just looking at something and copying it, but breaking it down to its core elements. And so you really like understand where these come from, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, th I think that's so important uh, uh, is, is kind of, yeah, simplifying those those concepts of what you know taking traditional tattoo tattoo imagery and then breaking those things down into the basic kind of elements the basic shapes and values and things that make them up and then learning how to rearrange them kind of with your own thumbprint on them or for a particular area uh, of the body even if you're not designing it for someone even if it's a piece of flash like just think about where it would ideally go and draw it to that and like what's the difference you know a forearm yeah. and a calf are cut are shaped pretty similarly but different enough that if you think yep. about the two of those things you know you might approach it a little differently